there's a fine line between managing your battery life and actually just terminating any application that's running in the background. It's very, very difficult for an OEM like Samsung to know what which apps are important to you and which apps you may have just forgotten or have installed and barely use. And because of that, the company has gotten some attention on the don'tkillmyapp.com website. I'll be linking to this in the video description. But basically the idea is Samsung, starting with the Android Pie update, has increasingly started to kill applications in the background in order to preserve battery life. Again, that's going to be awesome for certain people, but it's specifically going to be an issue if these apps are, say, alarms or reminder apps or even just regular games or something that you may specifically want to have running in the background. Maybe you want those notifications to come in even though you don't particularly use that application or game that often. So today I'm going to show you how to stop Samsung's One UI firmware from killing applications in the background on the Samsung Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S21 Plus, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And really this will work with all devices on the same version of One UI, which is currently 3.1 at this time. And the first step is to disable adaptive battery and we can do that by going into the settings application scrolling down until you see the battery and device care section from within there you're also going to see a battery option we're going to tap that and then if we scroll down a little bit you'll see the more battery settings and from here is the base toggle to tell the Samsung Galaxy S21 to stop limiting battery usage for apps that you do not use often. So that's step one. However, the phone's still going to be targeting specific applications. So again, if you notice the firmware has begun to kill certain applications, whether it's Netflix, Spotify, YouTube music, whatever it is, if you've noticed applications are being killed in the background after you have disabled adaptive battery, you're then going to want to, again, go back into the settings. And from here, we're going to look for the apps section. Once we're here, we're going to tap the three dot menu at the top right so that we can go into the spec special access option. And again, once we get in here, you're going to see an optimized battery usage. So once you get in here, we're going to tap this drop down menu so that we can show all applications. And this is where you're going to want to scroll through and find out, find which applications you're currently having issues with that are being killed in the background. So if, for example, I was running Google Duo, and I was having issues with the application being killed in the background when I needed it, all I have to do is come in here and toggle that option off for Google Duo. We're toggling the optimized battery usage toggle for Google Duo. And that's going to stop the phone from killing that application in the background. You're going to see this for all the other apps. Again, just for example, if I noticed that the gallery was being killed in the background, we're just going to toggle that feature off. Same with Gmail. If I've noticed I'm not getting Gmail notifications, it's possible that the service is being killed and it's limiting those checks for new emails. And we just have to go in here, toggle that option off to prevent that from happening. This feature's name has evolved over time. I've noticed on the Galaxy S10 series, Samsung called this sleeping apps. 
and not just optimize battery. But there you have it. If you're having issues with certain ap applications being killed in the background, that's how to stop the Samsung Galaxy S21 from killing those apps.